What's up guys? It's me, Grey Wolf, back to do another video for you. Uh, let you have a little sneak peek here at my latest Rustler build. Um, I'm going to have a more detailed video on the Rustler itself once it's finished. I'm still waiting on some, i got to find some uh, tires and wheels for it. And uh, I still need to paint up the body. Uh, I still need to button up a little bit in terms of electronics and stuff. But... At any rate, this video really isn't about the Rustler. This video is about this guy right here. It's a hot racing uh, 540-550 uh, can-sized fan, motor fan. This is actually a really freaking cool fan. And I'll tell you why. It's because this little fan here is kind of modular you can set it up however you want it now I didn't know this when I bought it when I bought it it came just like this and I bought it let me switch views to the overhead view here I'll zoom in for you so I bought it thinking that you know I've owned a, you know I've owned wrestlers before. This is not my first wrestler, so I knew that you know a good third of this can is covered up by the transmission case, right? So when I bought this, I thought I thought that this leading edge right here would I could I thought it, I could snap it down onto the engine and push it up into where you know where the it, little inside the transmission case there a little bit and get this fan over the back you know two-thirds of this motor that's exposed right well it turns out it's too thick I didn't really you couldn't I you can't couldn't really see this angle from excuse me from the pictures on their website when I bought it so I didn't realize it was quite that thick on the end but after I got it and I opened it up and I started looking at it I started seeing you know these holes here and these holes here where the fan screws come through and the, and the fan screws come through quite a quite a bit if you guys can see that fan through the fan screws come through quite a bit right there I got to thinking I was like well you know maybe I could take these these little heat sinks apart because these they, they are they are separate as you can tell right there I was like maybe I can take these little heat sinks apart and move them to the other end and then still be able to attach it to my motor somehow well what I found out was this thing's completely modular this thing's really modular and I'll show you what I mean you can move these heat sinks around if you take the fan off of here okay so here's what we're left with after you take it all apart this is the uh, this is the frame to the whole thing now originally when you first get it you got one heat sink that's attached to these two holes the other heat sink is attached to these two smaller holes right here and right here and then the fan, you know, of course, sits in this area. But it became evident once I took the fan off, they had two identical holes here, countersunk holes here, like they do on the ends. And then, of course, you know, we saw earlier that the fan screws stick out the bottom of this. So this thing's completely modular. You can move those heat sinks around wherever you need. So essentially, you know, you could. Yeah, you I mean you could have those two heat sinks anywhere. You could have one on the end, one on this end. You know, you'd have them both in the middle. You could you could move both of them over to this end. You know, you could do however you want, which is really cool. And I'll show you why. Let me put it back together the way I need it for this particular build. Okay, so now I've reconfigured it to the way I need. For this motor and I'll show you see before I couldn't get it to stick on and go 
under the uh, the transmission mount but the way these are now see before the these heat sinks were over here now granted you do have the fan blowing directly down on the heat sinks now for the most part instead of the heat sinks being over here and the, and the fan blowing directly on the motor but it's you should get relatively the same effect so now I can just snap it right on there uh, granted you know I do have this lip hanging over here and if I really wanted to I could probably just take a Dremel and just Dremel that off since yeah, I mean as long as I use it on this model <clears throat> if I don't ever plan on taking it off of this model and using it on something else I could I could do that and it would be just fine but I really don't think that's gonna hurt anything anyway hanging over but but this way you know I now have a, a fan that will actually fit on the motor and should do its job you know fairly decently so I'll test it out and um, you know if I find otherwise I will definitely you know report back and and let you guys know that uh, you know hey this isn't working quite the way I thought it would but it should work just fine I mean it, it it's obvious to me that they made it they made it that way they made it modular so you can move it around like that and uh, you know whether the fans blowing directly on the motor or it's blowing on a heat sink really shouldn't matter I mean if you think about your you know computers your CPU fan doesn't blow directly on the CPU it blows on the heat sink that's connected to the CPU so it should work fine either way anyway I just thought that was a really cool little um, innovative thing that hot racing did uh, with this fan and I wanted to share that guy share that with you guys just in case you know you find yourself in the market for a fan um, I'll be buying these from now on I think instead of the castle fans I used to buy the castle fans because they're fairly inexpensive and they just clip on and they're pretty easy to hook up etc cetera, etc cetera. but they only fit they're you know the, those are just those are a single design they only fit if you're basically you know the 90 80 or 90 percent of the motor is exposed which in this case it isn't so at any rate just thought I'd share that with you guys if you like other RC picks, please feel free to visit my Facebook page as well. That is www.facebook.com forward slash graywolfstudios74. Or you can uh, also email me your questions and comments at graywolfstudios74 at gmail.com. Peace. So, uh, you know, if you like uh, RC picks and you want to see, I'll, I will have build <coughs> a build thread. Uh, well, I should say a build album, if you want to call it that, uh, on this particular wrestler once it's done on my Facebook page. But there's still plenty of other Facebook, or there's still plenty of other. I can't talk. It's like 5 a.m. I fell asleep early last night and. I got up and I'm still not awake yet. So, at any rate, there. If 